Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, SpaceX may attempt to intercept Starman. The new FAI World Paragliding Champions are announced, and the FAI World Aerobatic Championship takes flight in France. Happy Friday and welcome to the show. I'm Sophie Herlock. Back on Wednesday, we covered a story on Starman completing his first orbit around the sun and a red Tesla Roadster. We also brought up the possibility Elon Musk may try to recover that Tesla Roadster. And while that may or may not happen, it appears Musk is at least considering a mission to take some photos of his car in space. On Sunday, after being asked on Twitter if there was any chance SpaceX would launch a small spacecraft to catch up to Starman and take some pictures, Musk responded with, in a few years. If attempted, the mission could offer some insight on how the mannequin and the car are surviving in space. For now, however, Starman continues his journey sitting in the driver's seat of the Roadster, with David Bowie's Space Oddity playing on a constant loop. Stick around because we've got Around the Patch coming up right after these messages. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Today is a new dawn. With a new name. Un nuevo logotipo. A new factor. Und einen globalen Kundenfokus. We are Continental Aerospace Technologies, and we stand behind you. Welcome back. Let's take a quick look at a few stories flying out of the aviation industry. It's time for today's trip around the patch. The international panel formed following two fatal accidents involving the Boeing 737 MAX is expected to release its final report as early as next week. A person familiar with the workings of the Joint Authorities Technical Review say it's likely to include a recommendation to the FAA that it take major changes in the way it certifies aircraft. An icy ocean world in our solar system that could tell us more about the potential for life on other worlds is coming into focus with the confirmation of the Europa Clipper mission's next phase. The mission will conduct an in-depth exploration of Jupiter's moon Europa and investigate whether the icy moon could harbor conditions suitable for life, honing our insights into astrobiology. A group of aviation stakeholders sent a letter to newly confirmed FAA Administrator Stephen Dixon concerning the FAA's NPRM, covering commercial space licensing. The group says there are several areas they collectively want to bring to Dixon's attention. The association said each would be submitting comments to the NPRM individually along with expressing their concerns in the letter. The FAA issued an information for operators warning of the potential for AOA sensors to be damaged during the course of normal operations and subsequently malfunction. According to the FAA, based on continued airworthiness activity on multiple foreign and domestic products, including large transport aircraft as well as small general aviation aircraft, the association has determined it's necessary to advise operators of the importance of performing proper operations and maintenance on AOA sensors. The rest of today's Airborne Unlimited is coming up right after these messages. Finally, a modern, affordable four-seater without compromise. Turbocharged Rotax 915IS power, 155 knot cruise, 800 nautical mile range, 1,000 feet per minute climb, and all that at 8 gallons per hour. Don't compromise. Check out the Sling TSI today at AirplaneFactory.com. 
Concord's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concord's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concord, the heart of your aircraft. After a nail-biting two-week-long competition at Crescivo, North Macedonia, 43-year-old Italian paraglider Joachim Oberhauser won the 16th FAI World Paragliding Championship. Meanwhile, 21-year-old French paraglider Meryl Delferriere took home gold in the women's category. Oberhauser finished ahead of 149 other pilots, and Del Ferrier finished ahead of 21 other pilots from around the world to win the title of FAI Paragliding World Champion and a prestigious FAI gold medal. In paragliding competition, each team is made up of four pilots, with the top two pilots in each team contributing to the score each day. By the end of the competition, France and Italy had both scored 18,821 points over the two weeks. An incredibly tight finish. Japan was third and won bronze. The 30th edition of the thrilling FAI World Aerobatic Champions are underway following an opening ceremony Wednesday night in France. Held at the Chateau Centre Airport in central France, this year's competition runs from August 22nd to the 31st and will include 18 teams from around the world battling to steal the crown from the reigning French team. More than 100,000 spectators are expected to visit the event site between now and the 31st to witness their incredible feats of aerobatic skill, while enjoying the varied entertainment program put on by local organizers, which will include demonstrations of other air sports, test flights, and a range of stands. Competition flights will take place every day with visitors on the final day of the event also being treated to a spectacular air show, including a wing walking display and demonstrations by several French Army teams. And that's it for this week, everyone. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe and check us out on Facebook and on Twitter. If you want to read up on some aviation aerospace news this weekend, just head over to aero-news.net. Have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you right back here on Monday.